Alessandro Bertoni here, Studio Logics Lab, Chewed Black Edition. Today I want to show you how I built one of my favorite pad sounds with the synth and something that uh, emulates the old school vintage Oberion and Prophets and Moog and stuff like that. And we're going to take a look how I built the sound starting from the oscillators into the LFOs. To the to the filters to the envelopes and the effects and all the elements that come with this with this synth and a final performance as well like in every synth my starting points are the oscillators here we have three oscillators one, two, and three with the relative volumes and on and off buttons on the right. So the default program gives me this sound. Kind of a moogie bass, synth bass kind of thing. Let's take a look uh, what's on the oscillator one. Here I have different sound waves for each oscillator. So square, triangle, sine, and I have a pulse width. For this sound, I'll choose a pulse sound wave, and I can modulate its, its width, pulse width, with this knob. And I'm gonna keep it around 50%, like 12 o'clock. And right here, I'm going to determine the volume of this oscillator number one. It's really brassy and big, so I want to keep it loud. I want a big sound. Here, I can choose the octave. Basically, I have the, the feet like in an organ, and I'm going to keep it a 16, so one octave lower than the than the middle C. Let's take a look at oscillator two now. Let's turn it now. Let's turn off oscillator one so I can isolate the sound. Here I have a I have a I have a square wave. I'm gonna change it. Triangle. This is interesting. Sine wave. Maybe too much. I want to choose Sotho, so um, a way which is rich in in harmonics and can and can give me that brassy sound. Volume around 90-95 and I'm gonna keep the octave around at, at eight, so it's going to contrast. With the oscillator number one, let's turn oscillator number one on. You have an even bigger sound than before. I can definitely hear the sawtooth wave with the brassy sound, higher pitch creeping in. Listen if I hold it. I turn off the oscillator number one. It's definitely there. And I'm going to detune it here with the det with the detune knob to create more texture. Now let's move on to oscillator number three. Let's isolate it. Same sound waves. What interested me the most for this sound are the, the pulse wave and the sawtooth wave. My idea now is to choose another sawtooth wave, one octave lower than the one in oscillator number two in order to create texture. 
Let's listen to it with oscillator number two implemented. You can hear the two oscillators together. It's the same sound exactly. A little bit the tuning here, positive four, but on different octaves. I couldn't even sync if I wanted the two oscillator. Not in this case though, it's too much 80s. So you have oscillator 2 and 3, same sound wave, different octaves, and they tune differently. Minus 6, plus 4. Always remember to save it before you move on, you never know. And then let's listen with the big guy here. Very big brassy sound now. It sounds very big and powerful, but it doesn't lose in the in the definition. Like if I play a car shape, like a like a quarter chord. F. All the frequencies are there. You can definitely hear hear the chord and understand what chord it is. Very strong bass. The bass is very present because oscillator number one. All right. Second step. Low frequency oscillators. Here I have two LFOs, number one and two, and then I have the wheel modulation. Okay. So since we are dealing with a uh, with a, a pulse wave, a smart thing to do that would be to assign one of the LFO to the pure width modulation. So I'm going to choose again a sawtooth wave to modulate the pure width. Okay, here I can choose whether I want to modulate the pitch of the three oscillators like individually or all together and then here the PWM. So here I can adjust the speed of the oscillator listen is very dramatic. So around 25 speed. Maybe even less, maybe 17. And then depth. going to be 40 41 so as you know a low frequency oscillator modulates the sound right away as opposed to an envelope which modulates the sound in time according to the parameters so now I have this I have oscillator um, sorry LFO number one modulating the pure width of my Pulse sound wave. So the next element, and maybe the most important in a synth, is the filter. Here on the sledge, we have a multi filter. We have low pass, high pass, band pass that I can select with the button, slope 24 and 12, pretty standard, and the big orange knob here. As a cutoff. So, I'm going to select low pass filter but I can try the other one I can try a band pass 
High pass. A low pass, which is the one I'm going to choose. As you can hear the the increment is really smooth. Twenty four dB. Right here, I have the resonance, which it which can go up to self oscillation and beyond. Keep it around 30 with a cutoff filter. Around between 50 and 70. Pretty standard. 75. And I'm going to add the first effect now. A little bit of overdrive. To boost the sound a bit. It's, it's a clean overdrive that give me that a little bit more. Then I have the filter amount. Just, which I'm going to keep around 34, 40 out of 63. Here I have the two envelopes, filter envelope, amplifier envelope. Very effective. Fast attack on the filter, medium decay. Pretty high sustain and a medium long filter release. Then I have the amp, the amplifier envelope. I wanna, I wanna fast attack. In this case, I want the sound to be present, to be right there. And I have a medium decay, high sustain, and I'm going to have pretty short release with a little bit of tail. Then I'm going to use later to modulate along with the uh, with the delay okay velocity round 70 and that's pretty much it for the for the filter okay very intuitive filter envelope amplifier envelope cutoff filter that i can modulate uh right here or with the or with the modulation wheel and then resonant key track overdrive it's like a boost and then and then in the next step i'm going to add effects right here i have effect one effect two and finally i'm going to add some final touches so effect one and effect two in this sound i definitely i definitely need some chorus so i'm gonna turn on the chorus knob, big chorus here. I don't need too much. I just, I just need to have a little bit of a choir effect. Eight of about ten. A depth of about ten as well. Okay. getting bigger and bigger and then I'm going to add some ambience so I have reverb and I have delay let's let's play with the delay first so I want a little bit of like a slap back kind of delay Some reverb right here. Not too much. I don't want too much ambience. Then I'm gonna select them. And here they are. You can hear a little bit of um, a slapback delay given by the reverb that really complements with the chorus here. And that's my sound so far. I'm going to add a couple of final touches in a second. So now that I added my effects, chorus, 
reverb and delay, I'm going to put two final, two final touches to the sound. So next to the LFO, to the two LFOs actually, I have the wheel, okay? So I'm going to select the wheel, which is down here next to the pitch wheel. I have the modulation wheel. And what I like to do is to, uh, to add dynamic touch to this sound. So I'm going to use one of these waves to modulate the filter cutoff. Okay, the filter is a low pass, a 12, 12, 12 dB. It's about 2000. So it's already pretty, it's already pretty open. Uh, so I'm going to just add some, some slide modulation. So again, let's try with a, with a saw wave to modulate the cutoff. Can change the speed and the depth. It's very, it's very light, but I can clearly hear. going on all right so so to to modulate the cutoff at a pretty high speed and depth last touch the glide or portamento you would usually know uh, use the the glide for a monophonic sound to create that legato effect. In this case, I'm gonna use it even if I'm playing chords, pad chords, because a little bit of light around 37, 40, allows me to create that effect of smooth transition in between the chords. Also enhances somehow the attack of the core of every single core that that I really like okay and that's it so again I have three oscillator pure with modulated by LFO1 then I have two sawtooth wave with different octaves and different slide tuning I had three different volumes for the three oscillator the first one be louder. Then I have cutoff filter, low pass, 12 dB, a little bit of, uh, of resonance, 75 key track, and then I have a little bit of overdrive. Then I have two envelopes right here. I have the, um, I have the filter envelope and the amp, amplifier envelope with a short release. Uh, the amount of the filter, it's about 50, 55, we say. And I have chorus, I have a slapback kind of delay, and I have reverb. Finally, I chosen to modulate the cutoff of the filter with a pitch wheel here, with the modulation uh, wheel, and I added a little bit of slide. Now let's listen to how it sound in a in a mix with other instruments
trust your feelings.